what is going on guys welcome back to the channel today we have this 2015 Chevrolet Silverado and today we're gonna program the transmission module on this truck so somebody already replaced the transmission uh, with a rebuilt one and every time you replace the transmission on these trucks you have to reprogram the module that comes in because it comes blank and the way to know that that module comes blank is whenever you install the transmission and you don't see the lower dot on the PRDM so it doesn't matter how many times you move it it just does stay there and you're gonna uh, be followed with messages about the stability and all that so we have this truck right here and well I'm gonna show you the code that it will appear if your module is not programmed correctly even if you install a used one you have to program it because it comes um, married with the pin number on all the modules so in, it must be programmed with the pin number so let me just take you over here to the transmission module and we have good communication with the module so we're gonna do a read on the code and it says right here control module not program so that's pretty much the problem and how we fix that well we're gonna be using the same scanner but I'm gonna turn it off because I'm gonna use that little tool right here the J2534 and we're gonna be using the laptop today so this is gonna be the laptop that I use uh, for all the cars that I do so we're gonna uh, it needs to be connected to Wi-Fi so everything is gonna be through Wi-Fi because we're gonna connect to the dealership it's pretty much the same program they use at the dealership and well I come to this place to do it mobile instead of them going all the way to the dealership all right so let me sign in into my account and I'll be back all right guys so once you already paid for the subscription so I'm gonna take you really quick to the interface right here so as you can see let me just zoom in a little bit as you can see this is the interface of AC Delco this is the website acdelco.com uh, you have to create an account and once you create an account you have to pay for each pin you use which is $45 once you pay for that it will appear like that when active and you need that credit card or debit card for this so once you already have your bin you're gonna do an add if you have an available slot you're gonna add bin and it will take you to the website to launch um, the uh, the SPS if you don't have the SPS you're gonna download it right here and install it once it's installed it will update and do a lot of things and a lot of waiting so I'll recommend you to install it first this is the tech line connect as you can see and that's a picture of the beautiful McLaren on the back so we're gonna wait and it's gonna launch the program once it's here uh, you're gonna plug in your J2534 device whatever you have whatever is supported for this and then you're gonna connect to vehicle then it's gonna ask you to select your interface uh, which is mine is this one JBCI so once I click it you're gonna hear a beep so that means the driver is programming all that and here we have this uh, truck which is a silver auto uh, four wheel drive we're gonna accept and one of the things that you have to pay attention on these trucks is make sure you have the right bin number for this truck you can check uh, using the scanner using uh, check the module for for the engine make sure is the right one as you can see I already checked it and it matches exactly on the door and also I checked the computer make, making sure it matches also the pin on the door and everything match so since we already uh, the people replace the transmission we're gonna put replace and reprogram and we're gonna hit next and also I will recommend you to have a power supply for the truck in case it dies and also I have my power supply for the computer then we're gonna go ahead and select the transmission control module which is at the bottom and 
it says set up only for RPO M MU5 uh, you can check your RPOs there and actually I'm gonna check that one because I think it has the MU5 I believe that's for the 8 speed transmission but I'm gonna go check right now and well I already checked the the sticker and it doesn't have that RPO so we're gonna go ahead and do the programming straightforward so we're gonna check the pin slot and we're gonna proceed because we have an available slot come on come on come on and we can see it already gain communication with the truck and the uh, the tool is already working sending all the commands and it's gonna get the programming data and as you can see it says unrecognized calibration so that means it's not programmed all right so this we're gonna hit next start programming and we should see this uh so pay attention for the dot it's not there yet but once it starts the writing process it will appear so it's already programming the computer as you can see it's connecting to the vehicle Come on, come on. And sometimes it's pretty quick. Sometimes it takes a long time. But on these trucks, it's pretty much all the time really quick. So it will do the process. I I guess it will be very quick. And I see the tool is already working. So I'm gonna wait. And as you can see, it's already programming it. So yeah, it will take some time. So I will uh, put this forward. And I'll see you a little bit. Alright, so we are about five seconds out and watch the dashboard. Once it finishes, it should appear. And there you go. The P already there. So everything's good now. So now we clear our codes. Now we have our P in there. As you can see, it's already locked. And well, that's pretty much how you program a transmission module for this 2015 Chevrolet Zero. And as you can see, the lights are already gone. So now, once it finishes clearing the codes, we can go ahead and turn on the truck and make sure everything's fine. Switch the ignition off and let's turn it on. And boom. There we go. Alright guys, so this will be pretty much the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the information. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Dislike the video if you didn't like it. Also. Subscribe to the channel guys, uh, turn notifications on, and well, I'll see you on the next episode. Do you fix up. Bye.